So I'm going to zoom in here. I'm going to go to Add Photo to Template. I'm going to go down to a photo I want to use. And let's say I've used one of these before in the past. Let's use one I've used in the past to try some new stuff. Photo 91 there. Resize. So again, I'm moving quickly now just to kind of show you the workflow and how fast you can use it. Background, click. Colorize with Color Picker and Photobax Control. Click on the background. Matches colors perfectly. Say OK. Maybe the paper layer. Click on my color adjuster. Change the hue and saturation. Maybe something in the purple tone. Bring it down a little bit. Something like that. Say OK. Looks great. Let's try some new stuff. I'll unclip this using in or out so I know that every background now will be affected by that color. Let's go to Mini Bridge and let's try some of those Ashbury Core templates here. Let's go back to our products. Go to Ashbury Court. Let's go to Digital Backdrops and let's try uh, this one and let's go to this one, this one, and let's see if we'll pick one more. And we'll try this one here, maybe that one. We'll do all those. Drag them into my workspace, let go. Double click to save that free transform that's come up on Smart Objects. That's what it's asking me to do. So I'm just double clicking to save it. And now I've got a lot of options. Let's go down the list. Here's Ashbury 16, there's 17, there's number 11, there's number 6, there's number 3. So it's really up to you. There's the original one. So I've just given myself a lot of options, haven't I? And I kind of like maybe this one the best. And we can now take it from here. We can rotate all these things. We can rotate our paper layer. Make it look a little different. Just like this. We can move it around. You can rotate your image here. Keep the paper layer exactly where it is. Just give it a little angle like that. You could add text to the bottom, anything you want to do. Uh, I'll go ahead here actually below all these layers and add a text layer and just type out. Now it's below there, so let's just go ahead and move this down a bit. There's her name. And uh, maybe do another S in there and then do like this. You could do it above if you want. I kind of like it below. I like it kind of going underneath all this stuff. And then I'll double click that. Let's change this to maybe something a little more script like this. Right. And actually, I can move all this stuff up if I wanted to. And I will take Melissa and put that up there. One thing I'll do here, too, is change the color of the text. Maybe to match. Just click that. Click on the color in her outfit there. Maybe the purple. That's too bright. Maybe something darker like that. Resize it. Control-T on your text. You can do something like this. 